few weeks ago, I received this comment under the video of how to make a GP in Android Studio. Yes, I did cover body suit videos and it gains lots of views. Let's face it, ever since body suit features exist, every fair user loves to create outfit and manipulate body proportion, thus creating a unique looking Android model. So to honor the viewers' wish, I present to you this cute GP looking Android model. You can buy different model GP body suit based at Apple Online, or if you don't want to spend any money at all, that's okay because this video is for you. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are, we're using a female face, and here is our model. I've already removed the clothing because you don't need those right now. Let's start with the face. Okay, for the eye size X, I want it to be one like this, and then the eye size position is around is around uh, 0 0.79. Three for position I Y. I instead of positive, I put them uh, negative value by negative zero point five eight one right here. If you can see this, there's a clipping happening around here, and you can adjust them later on. But if it's too much for you, you can just decrease the the eye position so that the, the clipping won't happen again. Okay, move it up a little bit. There we go. Next, we're going to eye position X is negative three to three. Negative three to three. Enter. Next, we're going to go to rotate eye socket. For this one, we're going to go to negative zero point one three seven. Enter. So we're going to reduce the inner slant by zero point eight five eight. Enter. Next, we're going to go to outer eye slant. But this time, we're going to get put negative. Negative one to nine. One to nine. Okay, okay. I think I almost got there. Okay. Or you can just uh, type the value here. Enter. And there we go. So here it is. Just go eye right here. We're going to decrease a bit by zero point four eight five. Zero four eight five. And we're going to move the eyelid up by by increasing them to zero point two two three. Okay, next we move on with the iris. Iris, we're going to increase the iris size by 0 0.794. 0 Next, we're going to increase the iris size by a little bit by 0 0.1. Oh, I think it's too much. I uh, would increase them by 189. Next, we're going to decrease the gaze y distance by negative 0 0.311. Hmm. Then, we're going to increase the gaze distance by 0 0.150. Yeah, looks cute. Now let's move on with the nose. For nose, you can just touch the nose tip position of Y, which we're going to increase them by 0 0.269. Okay, 269. There we go. Next, we're going to the mouth. We're going to decrease the mouth width by negative 0 0.646. Okay. If it's if the mouth width looks too small, then you can just adjust the mouth width to one. Then we're going to mouth position Y. We're going to increase them by the negative zero point one two nine. Alright, for mod corners though, if you don't want to touch the mod corners, it's fine. But basically, it's just make the mod corners look like a real smiley face. But if you don't want to touch it, it's fine. So for mod corners, it's 0 0.159. Okay, next we're going to go to thicker upper lip for female. Because we're using a female base. If, but if you're using a male base mirror, you can also use a thicker upper lip cream or even male. It's fine either way. But for me, I'm going to increase the thicker upper lip female by 
54. Okay, 54. 54, 6, 2, 6. And that will increase the thicker lower limb for female by 24. Just 24.082. Next, we're going to skin. We're going to reduce the ear size by negative 0 0.195. Then we're going to increase the ear prominence like this by 0.515. Next, we're going to make our ears rounded by maximize it to 1. For jaw position of y, jaw position, we're going to decrease them by negative 0 0.401. So, next, we're going to increase the cheekbones positions of z, but this time we're going to adding value to 1.500. There we go. For chin roundness and jawline position Y, both of these parameters is 1. Like this. 1 and 1. For chin length, we're going to decrease them by a negative 0 0.441. For jawline positions of jawline position of Z, we're going to increase them by 0 0.2. Two seven eight. Like this. For chin width, we're going to decrease them by a little tiny little bit of value of twenty eight. There we go. Like and for jaw angle increase, we're going to increase them a little bit by adding zero point three. Like this zero point three two three. There we go. We are done with the face. Are you still with me? Because we need to move on with body suit. Import the body skin textures, the body suit, then edit the body suit parameter. For neck width, we're going to increase them by 100. Next, for neck thickness, we're going to increase them for 100, but this time we're adding a value of 300. Next, we're going to soften the collarbone by maximizing to 100 like this. Next, we're going to increase the body build by 100. While for the maximized arm build, same, we are going to maximize them too. Then, we're going to increase the build from knee, increase build from thigh, and maximize the leg build by 100 too. So, it's 100 this, 100 this. Leg build also maximize to 100 too. And you can even flatten the torso by a hundred like this. We are going to increase the flatten but upper right here. This. You can even maximize them however if you want to. So this is started around this right here. By going them to a hundred like this. Okay. And then we are going to increase finger bulk by a hundred too. And then we are going to stretch feet. Like this by a hundred. So, there we go. This is how your body should look like. Can you keep up with me? This is the last procedure since we need to adjust the body parameter. For head size, we're going to increase them by 0 0.511. To maximize them right here. And next, we're going to increase the head width by adding a value of 2. Next, we're going to increase the head tip of Y by 0 0.358. And next, we're going to increase the neck length by 0 0.164. Next, we're going to increase the shoulder width by maximizing to 1. 
this. Next, we're going to decrease the arm length by the by negative zero point four seventy. Then we're going to increase the finger size by zero point six four eight. The hand size now we can increase them a little bit by 0 0.093. Next, we're going to decrease the torso length by 0, negative 0 0.330. Next, we're going to decrease the waist width by negative 0.147. For leg length, we're going to decrease them by negative 0.565. Next, we're going to increase the foot size, just a little bit of value here by 0.018. There you have it, you have your very own chibi braid model, and if you don't like the default looking braid textures, you can just change and color the textures on your own, or you can just download free braid textures at foot and import them in Braid Studio. Just like I said in my previous video where I talked about bodysuit problems, this chippy braid model can only wear a long coat and bodysuit itself. Clipping might happen on certain locations, so you need to erase the skin and bodysuit textures. And you have to remember, even though bodysuit is a supreme feature in braid studio, there's also a lot of pros and cons. Remember that. Besides, I've already created a bodysuit plus size model in this video right here. From time to time, do check out my community tab for I always or maybe sometimes update my content or even my what am I doing in the in making the content or if you want to check out my online store you can check out at good online the link description down below and also like